Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about graph quadratic functions using transformations, specifically a vertical shift. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We have our basic quadratic function right here, f of x equals x squared, and we can see the graph is just the standard u shape. And you've probably seen this before. Well, what I'm here to tell you is that there are certain ways to adapt this equation to create a vertical shift with it. So the vertical shift form starts like this. f of x equals x squared plus k. And this k value is going to shift this graph, the basic quadratic function, k units vertically. But the, there are some rules here to follow. If k is greater than zero, shift the parabola vertically up k units. If k is less than zero, shift the parabola vertically down absolute value of k units. So whatever our k value is, we just need to take our original parabola and just move it up or down that k units right there. So for example, if we had a uh, f of x equals x squared, let's say minus 2, we would take our original parabola and just drop it down two units. Let's go hop on to Maple Learn here to see this in action. So go to Maple Learn. We go to learn.maplesoft.com. And once it loads, we can see we are on this pretty cool website, uh, a lot of great tools here. But we're gonna type in our function here, just y equals x squared plus k, right there. Now notice I can actually uh, hit this little light bulb and it says parameterize k. And what this allows me to do is have a slider now very easily for the, our variable k. I'm gonna set some rules for this k. I'm gonna say it needs to be between, in the gear icon there, negative 10 to positive 10. I'm not gonna make it continuous here. All right, now let's go break this uh, so we can see it and bring it a little closer. What's really cool about this is that you can move this around over here and make it close to our graph. Now let's go change the settings of our graph, some, a graph here. I'm just gonna drag and move this around and I'm gonna lock, uh, uh, only zoom vertically here first. I'm gonna zoom in so it kind of shows what's going on here. A little more, there we go. A little more, just zooming in here. Oh, too much. All right, that's good. And now I'm gonna lock this current view and the graph will stay the same here. So notice that we talked about, well, our base function, y equals x squared, or f of x equals x squared. Let's go graph another function on this graph here. Very easy, just enter y equals x squared. So now we have two functions, one's blue and one is green here. The green is including that slider we talked about. Now notice they're overlapping each other right here. So we look at our graph here and we see uh, k is currently zero, so y equals x squared. But when k equals one, we should have a vertical shift. It should move up one. And we can see that as we slide k equals three, our equation y equals x squared plus three, our graph goes up three units. And this is true, it's the same exact shape. But again, what happens if this graph is negative? So if we want to go into a negative, we just go down here and oh, look at that. Now we're going below the x-axis from y equals x squared. We have y equals x squared minus four. Our k value here is that negative four. And we have the graph right there. So we want to let's say graph y equals uh, x squared minus two. Well, we just bring our k value to be y equals x squared minus two. And we'll see that right there. If you want to check just to make sure that works, we can graph this again, y equals x squared minus two. And we can see that graph is in light blue now and is right on top of what our green graph is. If I move this out of the way, we can see that here. Now actually we have three graphs. We have the sliding graph, y equals x squared plus two. Then we have our y equals x squared, our base function there. And then y equals x squared minus two right there. Again, all graphs have the same shape, but the only thing we're changing is the k variable, which causes a vertical shift. 
So if you want to check it out, go to learn.maplesoft.com and you can access these features for free. But I definitely enjoyed using Maple Learn. It's a great way to explain this topic. So, as always, thanks for watching.